In this video, we are going to install Skyworks new model R1 V2 38 billion parameter and we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This new model is a next generation open source multimodal reasoning model from Skyworks that advances upon its predecessor Skywork RB1. We have been covering the Skyworks model for quite some time now as you can see on the channel and I always find that their models are really really of quite good quality so I'm quite curious to see how exactly this new model performs because this comes through a hybrid reinforcement learning paradigm. The innovative approach synergizes mixed preference optimization or MPO that aligns responses with reward model guidance for both general and reasoning heavy tasks and group relative policy optimization GRPO which encourages nuanced group based learning via rule based strategies. I know it's a mouthful but in very simple words, it seems that this model is trying to extract all the good things which have been used individually in other models and trying to take it to the next level. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. The VM and GPU is sponsored by Mast Compute. You can also obtain it on a very, very cheap rate by just using the discount coupon code in the video's description and their link is also there. The VM I'm going to use is this Ubuntu and my GPU card is NVIDIA A100 with 80 GB of VRAM. It's a big model. Hopefully it is going to fit on this uh, GPU. So first up I'm creating this virtual environment with Konda. Shouldn't take too long and that is already done. And then we need to install the git the git repo of this skyworks model as they have shared it okay i think i need to go to the capital s so this should work that's all done cool and now let's install the vllm because i will be using vllm as in inference engine so we just need to install this vllm and while it installs let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video or IgentBot. IgentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And VLLM is also installed. And now we can do the inference with the model. They have also provided this script uh, which is run underscore inference.py where we are specifying the path of the model and first time it is going to download this model i have only one gpu so i have just put in one otherwise if you have multi gpu cluster you can just put in whatever the number of your gpu is i'm giving the path to this <coughs> local image and then i'm asking it what is happening in this image and then there are few of the hyper parameters so let me quickly show you the image which i am going to use so this is the image of a bear which I am going to provide it. So let's see what it does here. And you see that as soon as I have run this, it has detected my CUDA platform and then it is downloading the model. There are 16 shards of it. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. The model is loaded. You can see that it is consuming over 17, 71 gig of VRAM. And this is the only time it is going to show you this. And there you go, it has given us a response. So it has thought for a while where it understands what exactly the prompt is asking it to do. And then if you look at this image, I think uh, the second paragraph, I think it has really done well that it has described the whole scene in a very concise way that we are standing in a shallow water on a rocky stream bed. So it's not a river or anything, it's fur looks wet, suggesting it has recently been in the water. So it has not only identified the whole image, but also it has very succinctly described the detail and the whole context of it. Good stuff. Maybe we will check it out with a couple of OCR stuff. And there you go for OCR looks quite good to me. So I have provided it this image where I have multiple words from different languages, including Chinese, we have Spanish, we have German, we have a bit of a, uh, Arabic and Hindi plus Russian language. So you see, 
visually i think it has done wonderfully well except there are i think some spaces in the words but if you are that language speaker please also confirm but all in all i think ocr is quite uh, decent i would say let's see if it can do table analysis and there you go so i have provided it this table where i have these models and their precision download download size and various columns and rows and i was testing if it could identify the tabular structure and then if it could do the analysis so i have asked it which model has the highest second highest download size and you can see that it has given me a very very correct answer and i'm actually quite um, intrigued to see that its thinking is not that huge but still it is spot on so which is quite good and i think um, the benchmark scores which they have shared on their model card also speak volumes about this so for instance i'll just go here you see on these benchmarks looks quite good and so for instance if you look at this triple mu or massive multimodal understanding benchmark which is a broad test set of image covering diverse domains such as science diagrams charts documents and natural photos it checks how well a model can combine vision and language to answer questions that require reasoning and we already saw that it does it wonderfully well the olymp Olympiad Bench, which is a collection of Olympiad style math, physics and computer science problem rendered at images. It also does well. And next I'm going to check it out uh, right now because it also performs quite well on math vision and the simple triple MU Pro. So now let's check it out on a math problem, which is rendered as, as an image. So next up, I'm going to ask it to solve this equation and I have given it this image from my local system where we have this multiple choice question where i have defined the question and then i have given it few of the options in multiple choices and by the way the first option the a is the correct one so let's see if model gets it right or not so let me run this and there you go the model has given us the answer so if you check it out here um it is analyzing and then it is saying that I find that because okay, so it does a bit of a thinking and then it has solved the equation very correctly. So not only OCR, but it has, it has also combined the math vision. So as I mentioned earlier, it is quite good in terms of mathematics and also math vision. So overall, really, I think I agree with that, that it is um, quite high performing open source. And then when you serve it through VLLM, it could really become the go-to if you even want to deploy it or serve it in your local local network so i think it maintains its quality as i mentioned earlier that the previous models were also quite good if you want to check them out just search them on the channel if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching